Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Wrapped in Scraps channel. I'm glad you are joining me. So I'm getting ready to share with you guys the three-ply hammered copper cookware set by Viking. And you guys, it is so beautiful. Wait till you see it. But before I do that, before I do that, I have to show you guys my thrift store find. Well, not really thrift store. It's going to be real quick. Five seconds. There she is. You see that big old giant mirror on the wall? You see it? Okay, you see me. There I am, okay? It's huge. Guess how much I paid for this big old mirror. Just guess. I shock myself sometimes, 30 bucks, okay? Do not sleep on Habitat of Humanity. Now, let's get into the other portion of the video. So, all right, you guys. This is the set here. This is the three-ply hammered copper cookware set by Viking. Okay, um, this thing has some great specs on it and I will share that as I show it. All right, so of course I already opened it. I try to do the unboxing thing. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't because I'm impatient and I like to see my stuff right away and I'm sorry. But it's okay, I'm gonna show you. I just got it last night. I haven't even used it yet. It's still super brand new. So hold, hold, hold one second. It's absolutely beautiful look at that you guys look at that i hope this light is not like messing up the view of it do you see that do you see the copper detail let me get closer look at that do you see that isn't that beautiful just beautiful oh by the way i got my nails done today too so they don't look horrible so all right inside just beautiful so it has of course the eight quart stock pot which is the one i'm holding now and let me start reading some of the I'm having my wine by the way let's read some of the stuff okay it can go gas electric halogen ceramic um vented tempered glass lids pair of lids beautiful very nice Okay, so it can go in the oven. First, let me tell you where I got it. So before I run off on a complete tangent, let me first share with you guys where I purchased this set. I got this set from QVC. It was $5.99. Normally it was $8.99 to nine something. Okay, and because of right now, the whole Black Friday thing, you know, that's come and gone. But I did check this morning, today is the 1st of December, and it still had the um, five flex pays. For this item so if this is something that you're interested in i'm not be, it's not sponsored or anything like that this is just something that i've always wanted i'm real big at um i love william sonoma i love like really nice cookware bakeware sets and all that i just never bought them because they're pricey let's be honest right so there was a set that i was checking out from william sonoma and they wanted almost a thousand dollars per piece it was also a hammered copper set okay probably the next grade up but to me, this is good enough. Um, let me see. Here is the, I gotta look. This is the eight inch, okay? So here's the eight inch. Again, uh, hammered sides, just, just beautiful. It feels really good in your hand. It distributes heat evenly. Stainless steel interior. I'm gonna read some of the stuff on the back so y'all can be aware, okay? Stay cool signature handles, tempered glass lids, vented tempered glass lids, We, okay? Stainless steel interior, okay? 18 eighths surgical grade interior. It's easily to clean, it's easy to clean and will not react with food, okay? Keeps flavors intact so it doesn't mess up the flavoring of your food. Flared rim for easy drip free pouring. Solid copper exterior. Heats and cools quickly for precise temperature control and even heat distribu distribution. Versatile cooking, okay? This is the part that I love the most about this cook set. It can go in the oven for up to 600 degrees and the lid for up to 400 degrees, okay, Fahrenheit. All right, and that's all the pieces. Love that, all right? So anyhow, let's look at some more. I had a towel because listen, I feel I need to go ahead and scrub my stove top again, even though it's, you know, it's, it's relatively clean. 
but I need to scrub, scrub it again before I go put in my pretty little pearls up there on that stove. <laughs> so I'm not playing. I need to get some of those, um, you know, those inserts that you put in between the pots so that they don't touch, so that they don't scratch. I'm gonna be real anal about my pot set, y'all. I am. There's only certain people that can use this pot set. You know, people will come to your house and they will use like hard utensils on your pot set. You know, scrape up the bottom and all that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Hmm. No, we paid too much money for these and they're just so pretty. Um, I do know that when you have a copper set, there's a little bit more of um, caring that you have to do for them as far as buffing them out and things like that. Otherwise, they'll tarnish. Um, some people like the tarnish. Me, myself, I like to keep them looking the way they look right now. So I'm not going to do that. So um, I'm going to make sure I do my due diligence and do the cleaning, okay? So this is the 2.25 quart uh, pan here, okay? That's how that one looks. Beautiful, beautiful. Wait till y'all see the saucepan. This one is the three quart. Again, just beautiful, you guys. I mean, this if you don't like cooking, you buy a set of dishes like this. It's gonna make you wanna cook. It's gonna make you want to. Right? Here is your skillet. Beautiful again. This one is 10 inches. So this is your 10 inch skillet right here. Beautiful. And it's got some weight on it. So this is not a set that I would really recommend that you buy for like an older person. Um, it's, you've, it's, it's got some weight on it. So I wouldn't necessarily purchase this set for like grandma and them unless grandma got some good arms. Okay. If grandma can, it's like this, about the weight of a cast iron skillet. That's a good, um, comparison. That's a really good comparison. So if you have a cast iron skillet, like a 10 inch cast iron skillet, that's about the weight um, of some of these, okay? This one right here is 5.2 quarts, okay? It's huge. Look at that. Look at that. Again, copper size. I just love it. Oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? So that is the set, and of course it comes with all of its lids. It comes with, let's see, I think there's four lids. That's how it looks with the lid on it. Like that beautiful, I can't wait. Y'all, I can't wait. I cannot wait to cook. I'm not cooking today, because I cooked a lasagna yesterday. I still gotta put that video up. Hopefully I'll get it done this week, but one, two, three. So there's four lids, okay? Um, there's four of them. And then there's this one here. So I need to do some rearranging underneath my sink, uh, underneath my oven, stove, whatever you call it. Underneath my stove so that I can fit all my beautiful, precious dishes under there without them breaking. Let me scoop. And so again, you guys, here are the pot sets. As you can see, they are absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy I picked up this set. I think it's gonna be a great staple in my kitchen. I love the colors. Uh, it goes with my granite in my kitchen. And I think it's just beautiful. To me, bakeware and cookware are kinda like jewelry. <laughs> They're like the jewelry of the kitchen if you um, care for them properly. So there are some other basic bakeware uh, items that I would like to get. I'm glad that I already got the cookware, so now I can go ahead and start working on getting the bakeware. But as you can see, these pieces are so good. So whatever bakeware I get, it's going to have to really be outstanding. Otherwise, these dishes are going to make it look bad. This. All right, you guys. So those are the pieces for the set that I have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it comes with one, two, three, four, six pots, four lids absolutely beautiful okay all right you guys so that is the set that i purchased from qvc so if you wanted to take advantage of the five flex plays i would implore you to go ahead as soon as possible and go over to their site and purchase it because i don't know how long the five flex the five flex plays will be um up you know so take full advantage of that 
So the reason I um, purchased the set, like I stated previously, I'm always in Williams Sonoma buying certain things, and I've been looking at this set similar to this. They had like little acorns on top of them, though. They were a different brand. I'm sure the brand is a higher grade of brand as far as quality goes, but they were just so expensive, you guys. I mean, they wanted a thousand dollars per piece, pretty much, and. Monique Chante don't have that yet. <laughs> okay, I can I can do five six hundred on the set now, but I'm not ready to spend a thousand dollars per piece now. If I ever get if my coins ever get that good, I won't think twice about doing it. But until then, I'm good with this set. All right, so that is the video for my pots. I don't know what I'm gonna cook in there first. I don't know. I really want to make some type of like uh, shrimp pasta or something like that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But I'm so cooked out from Thanksgiving. I'm still eating Thanksgiving leftovers. I just had a piece of a lemon cake that's left over from Thanksgiving that I've been hoarding and hiding so I can keep to myself because my mother makes it and it's just so, gar so darn good. So um, I just had a piece of lemon cake that I probably don't need. And as some of you may or may not know, I had a mommy makeover back in July, the end of July. All right, you guys, I thought this would be a great time for me to come in really quickly and ask you to please comment, rate, and subscribe and hit the bell notification button. I always forget to say it, and I have a lot of people that watch my channel that try to remind me, hey, girl, make sure everyone else knows your different content. So I do DIYs, home decor, I do crafts, I do reviews, I do gardening, I do organizational videos, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. Please subscribe, <laughs> okay? Now back to the original put content. On like five pounds. Why, you ask? Well, because when you have a mommy makeover, you can't really do too much moving, and I'm not gonna blame it on my physical state, because I was doing a lot of eating, I was. I was doing a lot of eating out because I was shopping a lot. As you guys know, if you don't know, check out some of my other videos on hauls, purse hauls, shopping hauls. Well, you know, they're there. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of shopping these last couple of months and um, just for some self-care, which was definitely needed. But with that means that I'm not at home. And so I'll be hungry and I would just go ahead and go to a fast food restaurant. And that's not what you're supposed to be doing, Miss Monique. You're not supposed to be just eating everything you see outside in the in the world. So what I'm trying to do is get myself back on my diet. Now that I am able to get back on the treadmill, I need to get myself back in that gym and go back to doing what I was doing beforehand. So that is my goal for this week. But I had to eat that last piece of lemon cake first. <laughs> I had to have that. That was like my starting point. Let me eat this lemon cake. And then tomorrow, because I think there's a small piece left, I got to eat that part too. And then tomorrow, we'll start this whole getting your life together girl thing, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't want to make it too long and chatter on, but um, happy belated Thanksgiving to everyone. I know you're happy to be alive and still here. I know I am. Um, I had my family over. It was a riot as always. It was great. Um, my grandbaby, that was my little turkey for Thanksgiving. She is just a doll. And so I'm just really grateful and thankful that I have family and that I have my loved ones here with me for Thanksgiving, even though I'm sure we all got on each other's nerves because we always do. But we love each other. We love each other and we'll do it again for Christmas, most likely. If they don't shut down things, y'all wear y'all masks because we don't know what's going on in this world. Let's just say that, all right? So I'm just sitting here hanging out. Um, I need to go out there and clean the courtyard. For those of you who don't know, I have a little courtyard in the middle of my home. Um, we purchased a house that has a completely enclosed courtyard so that my girls, I have two girls that are autistic, so they can go out there and get some sun anytime they want. I can't let them out the front door whenever they want to like go play in the neighborhood like other kids do because that's just not gonna work. But they can, they are free to go out here whenever they want. And we go and we take them places and all that. But just on the day to day. I want them to feel free enough to be able to go outside and get some air when they want to, but I want them to be safe and I know that I can't let them out that front door without me being right there. So this is our um, kind of uh, our method to the madness of solving that issue. Um, but we use it to just relax and chill back. We watch movies, we have movie nights. My husband does a lot of barbecuing, see his little fancy barbecue and smoker back there. We just have a good time. So most of the time when we have parties, if you watch any of my other videos, you'll see that most of the action is taking place right there. Um, I need to get out all of my Christmas decor and start decoring because I've been just 
I don't know. This year has just been kind of, I don't know. I'm just not in the mood to do a lot of decoring. I'm not. And I know that sounds horrible, especially coming from me. Because I'm like, anyone who knows me know I am the decor queen. But I just don't feel like it. But I'm going to push through. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, because you just never know when a Christmas will be your last, right? Or we're, I mean, you got to take advantage of the opportunity while the opportunity is present. And so, it's Christmas coming. I might as well go ahead and get into Christmas spirit and go on ahead and do what I'm supposed to do. All right? So, for all of you who are still watching this video up until now. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the um, cookware review. I'm going to go find me a movie or something to watch and take a break for the rest of the day. It is a Wednesday. I'm tired. I don't want to do anything. I'm not cooking. They're going to have to have some leftovers for tonight. And I'm going to find me something to watch, maybe another YouTuber. And I'm just going to relax and finish sipping my wine. I'm drinking some Moscato Wildberry in case you're wondering. Um, and enjoy my life. And so stay wrapped in scraps, meaning repurpose, recycle, and reuse all parts of your life. That means the bad parts too. So, you know, take a, take a piece of furniture and DIY it, flip it and make it into something beautiful. Change how you think about things, learn a new skill, forgive somebody, grant mercy to someone, forgive yourself for something that maybe went on that you still holding on to. It's very important um, to really sit down and think about that type of stuff. That's a big part of self-care is learning how to let go of certain things. And the best way to let go of certain things is trying to find at least one good thing out of it. Even if it's nothing but the fact that you learned a lesson that you may not have to learn again, right? It's always good to try to pull something out of each experience, even if it's a horrible, horrifically horrible experience. Try to learn pull something good out of it if possible. I know in some situations that's like dang near impossible, but just do the best you can do because that's gonna keep you fresh. That's gonna keep you uh, fresh and poised and, and looking toward the future, okay? So that's what I mean when I say stay wrapped in scraps. It's a double entendre, okay? I'm a music major, so uh, double entendre is something that can mean more than one thing. It means two, usually two different things, okay? Kind of like a... Uh, subliminal message kind of like that but in action so a double entendre is kind of like i say wrapped in scraps i mean crafty stuff like wrapped in scraps meaning scrapbooking arts and craft diy home decor but i also mean wrapped in scraps as far as wrapping yourself regardless of what scraps you have do the best you can right anyhow that's just my method to my madness but stay wrapped in scraps. <laughs> stay loving you. Stay loving God, because he's good. Stay loving life, because you're still here. And I will see y'all in the next video. Goodbye, y'all. Have a nice night, y'all. Bye.